What's poppin' gamers? This is Preetham back at you with some more interesting stuff today. And yesterday, if you'd been following it, we had done a discrete math problem, which just de dealt with counting the number of digits in some random exponent of 2, and I just showed you a way to do that without pain. And today we are going to be looking at differentials, which are the foundations of calculus and derivatives. So, as you can see, we got to find the dy over dx of x squared y squared plus x sine y equals 4. So the first thing, I'm about to redefine my function as a elementary double variable function with no constants on the other side. I mean, with all, all the terms on one side is what I meant to say. x squared plus x sine y minus 4. And now... Y'all could be t trying to solve for y and just define this function as a y equals x something, but really, you don't need to do all that. I'm going to show you a simple shortcut to be finding dy over dx of a multivariate function. So dy over dx for any linear, nonlinear function, any single multivariate function is just going to be negative f sub x over f sub y. So for those of, you who got, those of you guys who don't know what f sub x is, it is really the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. And f sub y is just a partial derivative of the function with respect to y. So you're going to see these in Calc 3, but hey, this could just be a shortcut in case you saw this on an AP exam or any other high-level examination you were taking. So the partial... So I'm just going to express that in terms of real differential. So that is the partial of x with respect to the function multiplied by the partial of the, of the y with respect to the function. And since it was in the denominator, it just got flipped. So this would just be with the dfs canceling out. It is negative partial of x over the partial of y. So now let's just take the partial derivative of this function. And for those of you guys who don't know what a partial derivative is, it is really the derivative of a function with respect to a specific variable while holding the other variable constant. So let me just do that. I'm just going to slap a negative sign outside and take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x first. And now while I take the partial derivative with respect to x, y gets held constant, so that's just 2xy squared plus sine of y. And now I got to divide that by the partial derivative of the function with respect to y, which is just, for the record, 2yx squared, 2xy squared plus x cosine y. So yeah, that's our dy over dx. As simple as that. So just remember, whenever you deal with partial derivatives, you got to hold a variable constant. Basically, the one you're not differentiating with, you could have 20 variables in there. But a partial derivative with one variable just requires you to be holding the other's constant. I hope this helped and it was a good break from all your days. Thank you for tuning in to watch me. And my description's in the email as always. You could always send me interesting stuff to be looking at or something that we can have fun solving. Thank you so much for your love and support. Please do subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you thought something could be better or something could be worse or something's just off. And thank you so much for your support again. Until next time.